Well, in central Ohio, certainly we're not seeing anything like that. The wildfire smoke has been so awful for some of my friends who live out west, Matt. I've talked to them. I lived in Colorado for a time, also in Washington State. And really, you know, sadly, we joked often it was wildfire <laughs> season in winter. Um, mm -hmm. So many of them are dealing with that, but could use some rain like we're getting today. Yeah, yeah. Nice, slow, steady rains. Perfect out there. They keep getting the monsoons, which yeah, is yeah. floods and... Yeah. Yeah, not not good, but uh, we need some rain here. And honestly, after today and tomorrow, a uh, little bit tomorrow, we have no rain in the forecast for like 10 days. Oh, so we're drying things out uh, once again. Here's a look at what we're uh, uh, tracking over the next couple of hours on and off showers today. Won't be a, a total washout, but do expect at least some rain from time to time like we're seeing this morning. It lingers into early week uh, and it's very insignificant early week as well. But the preview of fall is, is kind of the takeaway um, early next week. I think some of us will struggle to even hit 70 tomorrow and Tuesday. So a little on the cool side. Watching the sun come up, but the clouds certainly uh, out and about this morning. So not nearly as pretty as it was uh, yesterday morning. But regardless, at least uh, we got a little bit of light out there. By the way, this time of the year, uh, we lose like three minutes of daylight every single day. It starts to add up. Uh, Preaching the choir, right? I think everybody knows that 66 right now. Columbus Airport uh, reporting a few light showers out there. There's a look at satellite and radar, so we get it nice and zoomed out. So you see the whole state. Notice it's it's hit and miss, right? You zoom in, it's more hit than miss. But this will be the theme over the next several hours. We get these showers that last a little bit, and then you get several hours of dry, just gloomy. Uh, conditions south of town, same deal. A little bit of shower activity over towards Cleveland and parts of northeast Ohio. Rain showers for them, and then for us, if you live in Metro Columbus, it's been on and off this morning. Right, eastern parts of the city really dealing with a nice little downpour, while western parts haven't seen much and probably aren't going to for several hours. But look at Indiana, Illinois. We've got these batches of rain to come through this evening and overnight as well. So we've got several hours of just on and off. That's really the theme. If you have outdoor plans. Best advice I have is to keep the uh, the weather app with you. You could track it hour by hour and dodge the rain showers and work around Mother Nature out there right now. Most of us in the 60s cool spot looks to be Mount Vernon at 61 degrees. Here's a look at hour by hour as we roll through the next uh, several hours. Notice little spots of green right on and off showers. Best chance for rain continues to look like six, seven, eight o'clock. This is the shower batch you saw uh, west of Chicago just a second ago on radar. That gets through here later this evening, pushes through. What it will do is really cool us down. This is tomorrow morning in the mid 60s, but look by the afternoon. I mean, we're only in the upper 60s, low 70s. Even with sunshine, we are struggling to hit 70 degrees by the afternoon. How much rain when it's all said and done? Not a lot. Quarter to half inch of rain under any thunderstorms that may develop this afternoon and evening. Yeah, could see a, a little bit uh, more than that, but nothing too significant. Best chance for rain is tomorrow or today, I should say, and then lingering into tomorrow. And really, that's about it. So here's your forecast today. We're in the 60s by lunchtime. We're in the 70s and notice rain chances increase by later in the day with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. On and off showers, the theme we will go with a high of about 77. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. So temperatures in the low 70s tomorrow and Tuesday. Looks pretty dry. I've just got a slight chance of rain in there as we push into next weekend in the 10 day forecast. Notice temperatures in the mid 80s. It's looking dry. Now we've got another home game next weekend. Thumbs up looking pretty good, at least uh, from this vantage point. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much, Matt.